Hi everybody, my name is Andrea. Let's go over the offices manual. So the policies and procedures manual that I have made for everybody. I'm going to give you guys a look inside so you have an idea of what to expect. So when I worked in dental offices, I was in charge for one office of making the entire manual. They didn't have one. They had switched owners a couple times. Things were a little bit hectic, but we were getting an on-site visit. So they had to scramble and get the office manual ready. So I helped to do that. I took things from a variety of sources. It took me six months to make, probably even longer. It was really hard to do, but this is why I don't mind sharing this template with everybody else because it took me so long to do and I'm here to help all of you guys. But you might be wondering, can I use this manual for my office? So this is meant for dental offices, but also independent dental hygienists as well. I originally made the manual for my dental office, but then when I started working for myself as a mobile dental hygienist, I needed my own office manual, so I had switched it up a little bit. So I have templates for you to download and it's meant to be it's meant for you to edit. They're completely customizable, which is perfect. There's a lot of pages, a lot of pages to print, but all you basically have to do is purchase your your own binders, your your own dividers, and then print and go through every single page to make sure it's customized for your office. As an example, I'm my only staff member. I don't have staff, I'm the only person. So that page for me is going to be very short. If you have 20 staff members, then you need to put their names and their inf in information information there. But don't worry, inside these templates, when you download everything in blue text, I basically tell you what to do, like print this document here, or, you know, put your staff names down here, P put the emergency contact numbers here. So I go through everything with you. So let me give you guys a little sneak peek here to let you know what what it's all about. So there's no confusion. Okay, so let me just share my screen for a moment here. Let's see. So first let's look at, let's look at the page. So if you're looking to purchase this, um, you would go to the website. Actually, I can show you guys that if you like, sorry, one moment. So you would go to the main website and then scroll down, depending on when you're watching this video, it might look a little bit different. Then you go to, are you a dental professional? See all courses for dental professionals. And then you will see the 2023 office manuals, policies and procedures. I do update it every single year. So depending on when you're watching the video, there might be a 2024, 2025, you get the idea. But this is what it looks like, okay? So basically I say that preparation is everything. If you don't know where to start, this is the best place to start. I have it all here for you. It's meant for dental offices, but it can be used also for independent dental hygienists as well, because that's what I use mine for. I have printed off all of the same templates that I have for you inside the course. I've just customized it for me. For example, um, I don't do sealants in my practice. So as, as part of my procedures page, I'm not going to put sealants in there, but you're going to want to include that for yourself. You know, just it's completely customizable and that's basically what it says here. So on one of the manuals, there is 46 pages to print. On another one, health and safety, there's 59 pages. For you independent dental hygienists out there who are doing mobile, such as myself, I do have a 10 page step-by-step -step guide for your mobile dental hygiene practice. So for dental offices, you might be wondering, well, I'm not a mobile dental hygienist, so can I use that page? You can still use that page but customize it for you. Whether you do root canals, composites, extractions, all of the above, you do need a step-by-step -step on how you do those procedures, but you can also do the overall, such as I seat the patient. The dentist gives them anesthetic depending on their chart and medical history. They leave the room. They come back 20 minutes later. I know it sounds silly, but you do have to have these things in there, right? So with these templates, it gives you a good place to get started. So just to give you guys an example there. So let's move back to this page here to kind of show you guys. So I explain it to you kind of what's included. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom, I have left you a contents preview. So you can see kind of what you're expecting. These are the cover pages. You don't have to print the cover pages, but then you would click each of these individual things. You can't click them here because you're not inside the course, but you would click all of these individual things to kind of see 
what to expect. Okay, so talking about um, log sheets, I have those there for you too. Um, sterilizer monitoring, I have those there for you too. Um, and then I give you guys clear instructions. So under the um, documents module, for example, your IPAC manual, you would open that first, which would be up here. Your IPAC manual is the first module. So you have a little welcome. And then under the actual manuals, they're the first thing you see. So you would first print either one. But down here, I was talking about like open your IPAC manual first and then follow along with those prompts. So inside the manual, you will see download here the um, hand washing document so you know to look under the documents module and then it's right here for you there's a ton of things here for you um let's go inside let's see i wanted to show you guys the actual product here so as an example you know how i was talking about to download the hand washing so let's just go down to that again just for fun so you would click that and then it pops up right on the screen click it again it's going to load in a second so I can show you guys and then this is the hand washing module or sorry um, document to print again if you want to notice how it does say CDHO when I made this manual I was living in Ontario so all of these are going to be based on the CDHO so you might let's say you live in Manitoba you might want to type in Google it's very easy Manitoba hand washing you know if you want the specific one but having that said you guys if you live in Manitoba and you have an Ontario doc document on hand washing that's fine because hand washing is hand washing if you have an on-site audit and they go oh you're gonna have to change that they're not going to take away your license because you have an a, a hand washing chart from Ontario or a hand washing diagram like this one from Ontario they might say in a month's time you have to prove that you have a Manitoba hand washing chart but that's all they're going to do. So what a lot of people don't know if you haven't been through the on-site audits is they're not there to take your license away. They're just there to make sure you have everything in place. And the one thing they're going to look at is your policies manual, the health and safety manual and the IPAC policies, which I am showing you here. So as long as you have that, are you kidding? They're going to be so happy. You have it all right here for you. This is just a look inside the course to give you an idea. Um, let's just have a quick look at a, a, um, a sterilization log. Okay. You would click that. I give you exactly what to download you guys right here. Again, you don't have to use that exact one, but it gives you an idea of what you should have on that page. So if you say, okay, this sterilization log, I don't really want to use. I want to use a different one, then find the one that you want to use. Right. But my guess is when you're told you need an office manual, you're like, I don't even know where to start. I give you exactly where to start and how to do it, what page, what you need to say. Um, so I have it all there for you. And then just to give you guys another idea here, this is a look inside the IPAC manual 2023, which is in your first module. Again, step by step. So I tell you, these are yearly reviews of this main. Oh, sorry. So this is just an overall. Um, yearly reviews of this manual are required and must um, be initialed by all staff. This is true. So you actually have to have a separate page like this one, the date, their name, how long it took them, and their initials every single year. I bet you didn't know that. So I have it here for you. Second page, you would put in, once you're done the whole manual, your table of contents because your pages might change a bit. Um, COVID, here's a perfect example. Um, anything highlighted in blue are things I suggest for you to change. So you might not be doing any COVID protocols. Yes, no, maybe so, right? But if you are, this is what you have to have. And notice in blue, it says your own office information here. So your public health unit is going to be different than mine. Your pre-procedural rinse is going to be different. So you would put that in here. Um, screening. So notice how I say print document. So remember how I showed you before the um, documents module, um, let me see if I can find that for you guys now. The documents module, 
I have so many things here, you guys. Sorry, one moment. Okay, here we go. So the documents module is up here. Um, you have the manuals, all of this, templates, documents. So how it's said here, um, the COVID pre-screening. So you, so you would include that document if you wanted to. Actually, I might have taken it out by now. No, sorry. It is here. So the COVID screening. So I give you guys kind of what to add and what you should include. And some things you might not want to add. Like you might just want to take them away. Um, where's that document again? Sorry, guys, I just wanted to show you that. So, and then if you notice, single use item. So this has to be specific to your practice, but this is what I have in my practice. For example, for some reason, if you didn't use cotton rolls, I suggest taking that out, you know? So I have everything I have. You need a boil water advisory. You need human rights. I have a link specific to Ontario, but you can change your specific to Manitoba or wherever you are. But you know that's what that page should include. And then you just have to look for your specific link. So it's a really good thing to get you started. These are all you're supposed to edit them, customize them for your practice, whether you're working in a dental office or an independent dental hygienist like myself. But this took me so many hours, I want to say six months, but I remember being that dental hygienist saying, ah, where do I get started? What's a manual? Like, I don't know where to start. You talk to your dental hygiene association and they're like, figure it out. Here's a couple links. Have fun, you know. So I'm just happy to help you guys. So I hope this helps to give you a little sneak peek. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I am here to help. Once you... um register for this course this whole template these manuals just email me if you have any questions it's going to take you time to go page by page step by step for everything but at least you have somewhere to get started isn't that so much easier than having to figure it out all yourself like i did having to look for the specific links copy and pasting specific things but this passed my on-site audit so that's why i am happy to share it so let me know you guys if any questions thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.